Scorpio, please come in the den. Let's talk about your life for the month of September. Any placement of Scorpio, always check that birth chart to see, girl, if this is the room you need to be in. We're here to talk about your life for the month of September, your monthly forecast, seeing what's going on with you. I'm open for readings. Ow. All pricing and contact information is down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe, send a super thanks. Thank you. So, we've already pulled the zodiac signs for who could be around you, who the message in this reading could be about, what placements you guys might have, and what other monthly readings might have some messages for you. We have Leo, Capricorn, Pisces, and then Virgo is showing up on the bottom of the deck. So, some of you guys might not be on the best terms. With the Virgo during this time. You might be on the outs with the Virgo. Um, earth, water, earth, fire. Okay. There's strong earth sign energy here. So some of you guys could have strong earth in your chart. There could be some messages about an earth sign in this reading. Or there could be an earth sign around you in some sort of way. Overall energy for the month of September is return to sender. And then you have create showing up on the bottom of the deck. And return to sender for me is rejecting something, pushing something away, not accepting something. And you have create showing up on the bottom of the deck. This for me is like something might be offered to you. But you don't need it. It's like you could you could make that on your own. You know, girl, this is like going to go get your hair done. And they tell you your girl's going to be about $500. You know what you get? You get micros. Oh, did I just say micros? Oh, girl, I'm so old. <laughs> you get regular box braids. I don't know. Some of y'all might get micros. I don't know. Them things too small for me. I only do medium, medium box braids, girl. I ain't got the time to do all that. That's why I do my own hair. Some of you guys might, you know, get the price on something. You know, like, oh, girl, I can do that on my own. Or I can find my own way around that versus paying that amount. Some of you guys might have that sort of situation going on in the month of September. I'm also seeing some of you guys might be, um, something is not for you because you can do it on your own. It's, it looks to me like down the line, you probably won't wind up being satisfied with what this is. But if you did it on your own, you can make it into what you want it to be. So, yeah, this is like something that you see online um, that you want, but it's but you but it's like it's not exactly what you want. But you could tweak it to your own um, the, uh, wants if it was just do it by yourself, if that makes sense. So this is like rather than you paying like a total amount um, for like some sort of like inclusive resort, resort you um, build your own trip and you find your own ways to, you know, create excursions or places for you to stay. Rather than you being given something like pre-made or pre-packaged, like pre-packaged food, you cook it from scratch. You know how to cook from scratch. Let's say it like that, girl. I was trying to figure out how to say it, girl. It was, it was taking me out. I was starting to short circuit. Rather than something being given to you pre-packaged or pre-made, you can make it from scratch. All right, let's see. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Like, have you ever, like, went out to dinner and you had, like, a dish at a restaurant? You're like, girl, I could do better than this. I could, I could cook better than this. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? It's the money. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the girly showing up on the bottom. Queen of Cups. What's going on here? All right, girl. Something's done. Done, skis, girl. Take it off the stove. I'm really sick of this bitch, y'all. Every time my manager fucking texts me saying call me, it pisses me off. Anyway. Queen of Cups, Tower, and the Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, some of y'all, something here is crumbling. Something here is over with. Like you're getting signs, symptoms, and synchronizes that it's time for you to be done with something. <laughs> I know. Um, but with the Two of Pentacles, you still could be intertwined in it some sort of way. Some of y'all, it's a job. Thank you. I know. You know I know, though. Some of y'all is a job. Some of you guys is a certain career path, like a certain um, career field that you're in. Some of y'all is a relationship. Queen of Cups, Tower, and the Ten of Swords. It's almost like I can't take this anymore. But you want to know why? You're supposed to be somewhere else. Create. You're supposed to be in a space to where you're free to 
I don't want to say free to do your own thing, but some of you guys being a part of a certain organization or certain foundation or certain group, being a part of certain like ideals, ain't you. It's not you. Because with the Tower card, you basically see how these organizations, these groups, these places, these people, these traditions, these values, how they can be um, detrimental, how they can have um, unfavorable results. Like this is like a job, you know, telling you, oh, you know, we're like a family here. We do this and we do that and we're a great company and we give back to the community. Just for you to find out that, yeah, they overwork their employees. They underpay their employees. Management is non-fucking-existent. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? What's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac? No, I'm not say Capricorn. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Knight of Wands with the Empress. Hello, girls. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands, some of you guys, it's like, I, I want to break free. What the fuck is that commercial? But some of you guys, you want to be set free from something. A lot of the girlies do. I'm seeing a lot of the girls do. Or somebody here wants to be set free from a, a feminine energy. This is not wanting to be with, you know, the mother of your children. Not wanting to be with, you know, a certain spouse. No, not wanting to be around your mother. I don't know. It's, it's definitely a feminine energy that I'm talking about or I'm talking to the feminines. Yeah, this is like you cannot create long lasting goals or aspirations with a short term person or a short term situation. If you're someone that's trying to obtain long term stability and longevity, but you also, Knight of Wands, want the opportunity and the space to explore your own interests. A certain job ain't going to be for you. A certain career ain't going to be for you. They want you there. Seven days a week, 365, 24 hours a day. So even when you're not at work, I want you to be thinking about work. Even when you're not at work, I want you to fucking call me. Rather, you could just text me what the fuck you need. I'm sorry. It's spilling over. I hate that bitch. I really fucking hate that hoe. Like, mm. Um. Yeah, Empress, Seven of Pentacles, and the Strength card. And some of you guys is like, you know, girl, you're looking, you're trying to find something new. Um, or, you know, you're just like, you know, I got to wait this, this, this amount of time before those changes can, you know, go into effect for me. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Remember how I said some of you guys might get some sort of offer or opportunity that you need to reject because it's not going to be what you think it is. Yep. Five of Swords. It's not going to be what you think it is. Hang man. And you won't know it until you too deep in. So some of y'all don't accept a certain job or uh, offer a certain job opportunity. If with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords, there's some... Um, it's like things don't match. You know? Like they say this, but then when you get on the... Get to the facility or get to the property, it's a different situation. But y'all say it's this. Oh, we, you know... We understand things happen, so if you ever need to, you know, um, redo your schedule or call us about a certain situation going on in your life, don't be afraid to. Then when something really happens, they're like, well, you're going to have to find somebody to, you know, cover your shift or we can't help you with that. Some of y'all, this is a person. Oh, you know, I want I want a serious relationship. I want to settle down. You bullshit. And somebody here bullshitting with you. Be careful if I let somebody bullshit you. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. You know what they give me? Give, telling you what you want to hear. As soon as they get you in, everything changes. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups and the Hangman. You know the Knight of Cups for me in this deck is someone that is prone to falling for um, shiny things. You know? Be careful about that. It's like because you're so optimistic or because you're, you know, either optimistic or oblivious to how people really work, to how people really, um, I don't want to say manipulate you, but that is out here. You fall for the okie doke. 
What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Two of Cups with the moon. Yeah, like I said, a certain relationship. Somebody here is going to say, you know, oh, they want to they want to be serious. They want to be serious with you. You the only one that's serious here. Especially if y'all trying to deal with the Virgo, Sag, or an Aquarius. That's what I have out here so far. Or a Cancer. Some Scorpios have already figured this out about an individual. Be careful because this person might try to spin the block on you. No, they are still the same person that you found out. That you found out who they were, basically. I said it's about a job environment or a certain job offer. You perfect for them. They're not perfect for you. That's what it like to me. A certain situation, you might be perfect for the situation, but the situation won't be perfect for you. And you won't figure it out until you're too deep in. So you have a child with someone, you moved in with someone, you built your schedule around a certain job, your bills are now uh, dependent on this, uh, this paycheck that you got. What's happened to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? What's happened to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. This is you being given something or um, you giving something. You you. This is either you being given something or you giving to something. Somebody will expect to still have a relationship with you after the Five of Swords has happened. And, you know, I feel like some disagreements can be, you know, overcame. Like, you can get over having a, a disagreement with somebody or y'all just get into an argument. I feel like you can get over that. What you can't get over, for me, what you can't get over is somebody being real reckless with what they say to you. I hope your mama die. We can't come back from that. Yeah, you was mad, you was upset, but I've been mad and upset, and I stopped talking. Whenever I'm mad and, I, and, I'm, up, and I'm upset, and I know something's going to come out of my mouth that I'm going to regret later, I exit. I do not continue the conversation. This person does not have that control. They will say whatever they want to say, do whatever they want to do, and then come back around you on that sweet shit. You know, like two of cups. Oh, you know, you know I was mad. You know I didn't mean that. Um, let's be cool again. Let's be in a relationship again. Fuck you. I mean that. Fuck you. Some of y'all need to have that energy towards somebody. Because I bet you if they knew that you was going to be like, fuck you. After they did that to you, they wouldn't have did it to you. But with the night of wands, somebody here who real crazy, real reckless with their mouth, real, real reckless with their actions. And they still gonna think they have a home to come to? <laughs> they still think they gonna have a place in your life after they do some some wild shit? No. We don't play like that around here. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Six of Wands. Look at it. With the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do you want do you want to fish or do you want to be taught how to fish? I think that might be your um the title of your reading. It's like do you want to be given something or do you want to I don't want to say do you want to have to work for it, but yeah. Do you want to be just be given something or do you want to have to work for it? Because if you're just given something, you don't know what comes with it. You just got to take it. Rather than you work for it and you know the ins and outs of it because you've been here since, you know, day 1. I told y'all this is like you know prepackaged food. Some prepackaged food be alright, okay, but not at not every time. And you only get prepackaged food if you don't feel like cooking, or you know you got some place to be. It's only in in case of emergencies. Yeah, five of cups. 
King of Swords and the uh, Ace of Wands. Some of you guys will not be happy dealing with a certain person. Um, because this is someone who talks, you know, real big game about them wanting to be settled down. But then when you get into a relationship with you, real, real, I'm about to rip this. Whenever you get into a relationship with them, you realize this person is just a talker. Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords. They say what they, they need to to get what they want. And then they, you know, resort back to default settings, who they truly are. This is you being offered some sort of opportunity and they're going to make it sound as good as possible to get you in the door. But as soon as you put your name on that on that dotted line and they get you on the schedule, you're going to really see what this company, what this group, what this job is about. What's happening? I'm tired of all these commercials. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? Two of Swords. What's two plus five? Seven of Swords. What's five minus two? Three of Swords. It's no bueno either way. Eight of Swords, Will of Fortune, the Hermit. So I'm probably urging you, Scorpio, to think about the long-term effects or results of something coming to you. A person trying to date you, a person wanting to be in a relationship with you, some sort of offer or opportunity that either you're seeking out, you're going after, or is being brought to you. It's like, have you ever been dating somebody? Um, and when I say dating, y'all not in an exclusive relationship. Y'all just dating. And they say some shit or they do some shit to where it's like, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. But, you know, I'm I'm, a, I'm going to excuse it. We're not going to do that anymore. Either you're going to bring it to this person that you didn't like they did, right? Or you're going to get out of Dodge right in the air whenever it happens. Don't sidestep it. Don't not acknowledge it because I promise you it's going to reappear in, in either bigger situation or it's going to turn out to be an indicator of something that winds up being a problem further on down the line what's happening to the scorpio zodiac in the month of september of 2024 yeah this is someone here asking you out to eat asking you to hang out asking to see you asking you do you want to be a part of something and then when you go you accept you attend you find out this is just somebody here who likes to gossip. This is just somebody here who needed something. This company ain't really, you know, uh, about their people, like how they pretend to be. It's like you realize something here looks good on the, in, on the outside, a person, place, or a thing. And then when you finally get in the doors, when the last time you niggas swept in here? Like you, you realize that like it's not really being maintained like it... Like they try to make it seem like, or oh, this person isn't as put together or as um, intentional as they try to come across. What's happening to the Scorpio Zodiac in the month of September of 2024? This is your last card. The Justice with the Judgment. Now, technically, none of your energy is out here, but this judgment card definitely belongs to you. And the judgment card is knowing right from wrong and choosing to do the right thing. Some of you guys will have to make a verdict. You will have to make a judgment call about a certain person or a certain situation for, uh, for the month of September. Like I'm hearing, is this worth you putting up with? Is this relationship you... you um? You worth putting up with certain things. With is, is this job, and it's not you putting up with certain things. It looks like you have to be willing to give certain things up in order to be friends with this person, in order to be in a relationship with this person, in order to be at this job. You can't have no outside hobbies or interests with this job, girl. We need you twenty four. We need you twenty four hours a day. All right, available all days of the week. In order to be in this relationship, don't expect no no um no fidelity. I'm not a one man or one one woman person. Don't expect no help. I mean, girl, that's what you're here for. <laughs> like, seriously. Don't expect much if you decide to take something that your intuition is like, I don't know if we should do that. So far, we have Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, 
Cancer, Leo, Libra. I keep hearing it, don't fall for the okie doke. Sometimes it's better if you just get shit on your own rather than you ask for it, rather than you take help from somebody else. Um, sometimes it's best for you to just, you know, wait your turn rather than just entertaining somebody that comes across you. And they, you know, you know that, that whole saying and doing it for the plot, that's going to get somebody hurt. Because I be seeing all these story times to where, you know, the girlies be talking about they went out with a certain friend or they accepted a certain date with somebody and they had flags before they started dealing with the person. Like for me, if, if our first date and you you running over 15 minutes late, you better be st stuck in traffic. And when I go to go look that shit up on Google Maps, I better see three semi trucks turn the fuck over. Because them girls that be sitting there waiting for their date to show up after like 45 minutes, nigga, you dead in, in my head. You must be dead. That, that, that's the only reason. I'm not sitting there. Be careful about being shown the flags and you ignore it or you sidestep it. You like, hey, that ain't that bad. Don't matter. What could it turn into? Scorpio, this was your September month.